All right, let's dive in. We're looking at Blockchain Valley today. They're trying to build a whole tokenized ecosystem, and uh, they want to do it all around the fourth industrial revolution. Yeah. And so to do that, yeah. we've got their white paper revised one and uh, some promotional materials. Oh, okay. So we'll be going through both of those. Okay. We're going to be talking about AI knowledge trading. Okay. Um, they say they want to make like a YouTube for proms. And uh, they even want to go so far as to build a microeconomy around their token. Wow. So there's a lot to unpack here. Yeah. Buckle up. Sounds like it. And we're going to try to break this down into something that everyone can understand. Well, what's really interesting to me is how they're trying to bring a tangible value to what can sometimes be a really abstract idea. Yeah. Like the fourth industrial revolution, right? Oh, it's, yeah, yeah. it's this big concept, but they're, they're actually trying to build tools for it. Okay. And I think that's where this 4IR token comes in. All right. So let's break this down a little bit. So uh, what is Blockchain Valley? Yeah. I know they're trying to be like a... I don't know, like a catalyst in the fourth industrial revolution, but like, what's the story? Yeah, so they were founded in 2017. Okay. And they got seed funding to the tune of 4.08 million euros. Wow. Um, that came from a Spanish family office. Okay. They've got, uh, they operate under a UK holding company. Okay. But they've got branches in France and South Africa. Oh, wow. So they're spread out. That's a, that's a pretty... Broad, there's a pretty broad reach. Yeah, and I think that's important because what they're trying to do is tap into this global trend. Okay. This fourth industrial revolution, 4IR, you know, it's a... Right. For people that don't know, what is what is that? Like, yeah. how, how do they fit into that? The fourth industrial revolution is essentially this. It's like a wave of technological advancement. Okay. We're talking artificial intelligence, robotics, the Internet of Things. Yeah. All of this stuff is kind of merging together. And it's changing how we live and work. Right. Yeah, totally. Yeah. And Blockchain Valley sees blockchain as the key to navigating this wave, Interesting. using it to create a more decentralized and equitable system. OK. Now, whether they can actually achieve that, that's a question we can explore. Yeah. But that's the core of their mission. OK. And so at the center of all of this is this 4IR token. Yeah. And so from what I understand, it's supposed to be like the, uh, I know, like the fuel for their entire ecosystem. Right. So like, what does that actually mean? Yeah. Think of it like this. Imagine a virtual city. Okay. Okay. And the 4IR token is the currency of that city. Hmm. Every transaction, every interaction that happens within that city is done using this token. Okay. It encourages everyone to use it, ideally increasing the value of the city and the token itself. Okay. Right. So it's a fascinating concept. It has benefits, potential pitfalls. Mm. We can get into that later. That's that's a really good way to put it. So they're they're not just building a platform or like a tech, some sort of tech platform. They're trying to build an economy. Yeah. That's super ambitious. It is. So what like what does this ecosystem actually look like? Like, what are some of the key elements of it? Yeah, so the core of their go-to-market strategy mm -hmm. is it revolves around this platform called 4IRGPT.com. Oh, okay. They call it the world's first AI knowledge trading and prompt media platform. Okay. It's a big claim. Yeah. Whether they live up to it, well, that's debatable. Yeah. But the concept is very intriguing. I have to admit, when I read AI knowledge trading and prompt media platform, yeah. I was like, what? Like, what does that mean? Yeah. So break that down for me. What does that mean for someone like me? Okay, so think about it like YouTube. Okay. But instead of videos, you have prompts. Okay. Prompts for AI models. Okay. So let's say you're a writer. Right. And you want to use AI to help you write a screenplay. Right. Instead of figuring out the technical side of how to do that with the AI, yeah. you could go to 4IRGPT and find a prompt that's been created by an expert. Okay. And that prompt will give the AI the specific instructions it needs to help you write your screenplay. So it's like a marketplace for AI expertise, basically. Exactly. Like packaged up into these little prompts. Yeah, it's pre-packaged expertise. Yeah, that's I can see how that'd be super powerful, right? Yeah. Especially as AI is becoming more and more integrated into our lives. It's that YouTube for prompts idea. Yeah. It's very powerful. But 4IRGPT isn't their only project, right? No, not at all. Their white paper, it mentions a whole bunch of other applications. Yeah, they have a bunch of other things they're working on, what they call sandbox mode. Okay. Which basically means they're still developing and testing them. Yeah. Um, but one example is blockchainvalley.me. Okay. This is an e-commerce platform for products and services all related to the fourth industrial revolution. So you could buy anything from AI-powered software to robotics hardware, all using 4IR tokens. Potentially, yeah. 
all within their ecosystem. Wow. They've also got 4irdeveloper.com, which is a platform for developers to collaborate. Okay. Then there's 4irjob.com, specifically for job postings in the 4ir space. Yep. And they even have dokyc.com. What's that? It's aiming to automate the know your customer process using blockchain technology. Wow, so they are going all in on this ecosystem idea. Yeah, very much so. But they do mention that their initial coin offering or ICO back in 2023 didn't go as planned. Right. What happened there? Yeah, so their ICO was initially approved by the AMF, the French financial regulator. Okay. But it ultimately wasn't successful and they ended up returning the funds to investors. Wow. Now they're looking at alternative launch methods like IDOs, which are decentralized fundraising mechanisms. Okay. But it's important to point out that these IDOs fall outside of that previous AMF approval. Okay, so it's a whole different... Yeah. yeah. Anyone who's interested would need to do their own independent due diligence. That's an important point. So they're being very transparent about the regulatory landscape. Absolutely. Okay, so speaking of transparency, who are the people behind Blockchain Valley? Yeah, who are these masterminds? Yeah. Well, their chief visionary officer is a guy named Robert Hostrup to me. He's based in South Africa. Okay. Francisco Gimeno is their chief brand generalist, okay. but his location isn't specified in the materials. Okay. And then there's Bernadine Louis, their company secretary and VP of HR. She's based in France. Okay. So it seems like a globally distributed leadership team yeah which makes sense right yeah considering their global ambitions yeah and they've got a pretty diverse advisory board too right yeah expertise in ai neurology accounting it's interesting yeah. it's a very interdisciplinary team they've assembled totally yeah that makes sense but uh i'm curious to hear your thoughts on the bigger picture here yeah what do you make of all this yeah, I mean, what does it all mean? Yeah. What does this tell us about the potential of blockchain and the fourth industrial revolution? It's a big question. It is a big question. One we should definitely dive into. We'll come back to that. Yeah. We're going to take a quick break and then we'll dive into those big questions and uh, Sounds good. really get into it. All right. So we've laid out their vision, right? Building this big ecosystem all around this 4IR token. Ambitious, for sure. But uh, yeah. the question is, like, what does it all mean? Right, right. What happens if they pull it off? Yeah, what are, what are the implications? Yeah, what would it mean for me, for you? Right, right. For yeah. businesses, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, how would this actually work in the real world? Yeah, yeah. Imagine, for a second, a world where yeah. your skills and knowledge, mm -hmm. especially in specialized fields like AI, okay. could be packaged up, shared easily. Mm. Think about those prompts, right? Yeah. So like distilled expertise, ready for anyone to use, that could change everything. Huh. Access to these complex technologies yeah. for everyone, right? right? And then you can make money from your skills. Yeah. In a whole new way. Yeah. It's like, like taking the gig economy to yeah, a whole nother level. Exactly. Yeah. But let's be real for a second. There are going to be challenges. Yeah. What are some of those? One of the biggest adoption oh, yeah. for this micro economy to actually work, they need users. Right. Lots of them on both sides. Okay. Sense. The experts making those prompts yeah. and people who want to use them. Yeah. That's it's like that chicken and the egg thing. Yeah. Right? Exactly. You need the users to make it valuable. Right. But to get users, it needs to be valuable. Yeah, it's a tough one. Yeah, yeah. And then on top of that, there's the tech side of things. Oh, right. Building a platform, secure, scales well, user-friendly. Yeah. That's hard enough. But then you add in AI and blockchain. Right, right, yeah. It's a lot. Yeah. Things can go wrong. Oh, yeah. Security breaches, mm. technical glitches. Those can kill trust. Oh, for sure. And trust is everything in this space. Right. And then there's that whole regulatory landscape we talked about earlier. Yeah, I can't forget about that. They're dealing with a lot of rules, right? They're complex. Especially with these new IDEO launches. Yeah, and those rules are always changing too. Right. So they have to be flexible, adaptable, yeah. which they seem to be. Yeah. But it creates uncertainty for investors. Right. And it's interesting that they're really making it clear that these IDEOs are independent. Yeah. Right? Like separate from that earlier AMF approval. Mm -hmm. They're trying to strike a balance. Okay. Innovation. Yeah. But compliance too. Right. But it also means potential investors, they need to do their research. Yeah. Do your own due diligence. Exactly. Yeah. Can't You can't stress that enough. Yep. Okay. So we've talked about adoption. We've talked about the tech challenges, mm -hmm. the regulations. Right. But what about this micro economy idea? Yeah. Is it going to work? Yeah. Is it just a like... 
pipe dream. It's ambitious, no doubt. Yeah. But I wouldn't write it off completely. Okay. The technology is getting better, yeah. faster. Yeah. And we're seeing more interest in these decentralized models okay. for creating value, exchanging it. So they are tapping into something, maybe? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Like the gig economy. Yeah. More flexible work using your skills yeah yeah that's a trend right 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 yeah. if they can build the infrastructure yep. get enough users yeah this could be huge okay people could make money from their expertise in yeah. ways we haven't even thought of yet so it's not just a platform no it's a whole new way to work it could be yeah to make a living from your knowledge yeah that's powerful yeah it's about empowerment mm -hmm. collaboration using tech to make things more equitable more decentralized like we were talking about earlier yeah but it's early days right Lots of unknowns. Yeah. Things could go wrong. Like we were just talking about. Exactly. So it's kind of like... It's like they're setting sail. Yeah. But they're in uncharted waters. Right. Who knows if they're going to make it? Exactly. Yeah. But it's a fascinating journey to watch. It is. It tells us a lot about where things are headed. Definitely. Speaking of their journey, like where are they now? Yeah. Good question. We've talked about the big picture. Right. right. But what are they actually doing? So we've talked about their big goals, the challenges. But where are they now? What are they actually up to? Well, a lot of their applications are still in that sandbox mode, right? Right, right. Development, testing. Yeah. 4IRGPT.com, their main platform, that seems to be the focus right now. Okay. That's where they think they can really make a difference. Right, that YouTube for prompts idea. Yeah, exactly. But we also talked about their token. The 4IR token. They had some setbacks with that first launch. Yeah, the ICO didn't go as planned. So where do things stand with that? They're looking at new ways to launch it now. Okay. IDOs, they're called. It's a more decentralized approach. Okay. More community-driven. So they're adapting. Yeah, they have to. The crypto world is always changing. And they've been very clear that these IDOs are, like, separate. Yeah, independent. From that earlier AMF approval. Hmm, they're playing it safe. Yeah, got to be careful with those regulations. Absolutely. So what's next for Blockchain Valley? Where do they go from here? Their goal is to build that micro economy right, right. around the 4IR token. They think blockchain can make it happen. Okay. Bring together AI experts, enthusiasts. Yeah. Create a whole new system for sharing knowledge. So a more equitable, more decentralized future. That's the idea. For knowledge, for value creation. It's a big vision. It is. But a lot of challenges too. Yeah, definitely. So any final thoughts on Blockchain Valley, on this whole journey? I think it's a really interesting experiment. Blockchain, AI, the future of work. Yeah, yeah. It's all connected. Right. No guarantees of success. Right. Too early to tell. But it's a fascinating case study. It shows us what's possible. Yeah, how technology is changing everything. Mm-hmm. And the story's still unfolding. We'll have to see how it ends. We will. Oh, yeah. And it'll have a big impact, however it goes. Oh, yeah, for sure. On the future of work, the digital economy. Lots to think about. Well, we've explored their vision, the challenges, where they are now. It's up to you now to decide what you think. Do your own research. Always a good idea. And be part of the conversation. This technology is shaping our world. It is. So thanks for joining us on this deep dive into Blockchain Valley. Mm -hmm. Keep exploring, keep learning, and keep questioning. We'll see you next time.